super excited to have Ellery with me today. I've been wanting to get my hands on these beautiful brows and this beautiful face, but they're pretty much perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and wax her and fill her in and show you guys how to use KBB the right way. First, what I like to use is the highlighter pencil and the smudge brush. We're just gonna draw a nice thin line underneath her brow. It doesn't really matter how thick or thin because we're gonna blend it in, but I always do it thinner. It's much easier to blend in. Now we're gonna use a smudge brush. I'm gonna hold her brow kinda tight, her skin tight, and we're gonna use the brush side by side right up to the hairline. Now this creates a little guideline for you to where when you want to fill in your brows, you'll know exactly where to place the product. So then you just take any excess product and blend it down into the lid. And blend side to side. We don't want to touch the hair, we just go right up to the hairline. It gives your eye a lift and your brow a lift. So you want to remember less is more with all products. It's easier to blend in. And this creates a shape for you. See how pretty that looks? There I go, the other brow. Same thing, side by side, in a windshield wiping motion, back and forth, right up to the hairline. Now her eyebrows look good with no products, but the products just really enhance her shape and give her that extra pop. And then just blend down into the lid. Ellery is a perfect example of being able to use the highlighter pencil on any skin tone. It's just all about blending. I like to use the highlighter pencil the best compared to an eyeshadow or another product because it's creamy and it blends in and it doesn't look chalky or pasty. And you can move it more and place it exactly where you want it. So now we're gonna fill in her brows with the brown powder and the angle brush. And the reason why I love this brush so much is because it's more narrow than most. And I made sure to make it very thin and easy for you guys to apply onto yourself because the key is for you guys to be able to do this at home. So you're gonna go ahead and just tap the brush into the powder. You don't wanna make a little stroke so you're gonna get too much product. And we're gonna go right inside of her brow. And then after you apply it, you're gonna brush up. You're gonna flip over the brush and brush up so it softens it and it's not too heavy or too dark. And I just use little strokes. So now that we have the outline with the highlighter, I know that I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna fill it, her brow in right inside of that line that we created. So we've basically created her own personal stencil. Oh, yeah. Now we're gonna go right on the top. I'm turning this way, sweetheart. We're gonna bring it out to the corner of the brow. Then we're gonna turn and go down. Again, Ellery is the perfect model to show you guys that the brown powder will work on any skin tone. It's all about placement and how much product you use.
So then you can go ahead and use the smudge brush again underneath it just to clean up the line if you need to. And I prefer to use powder over pomades just because it looks a lot more natural. We want to enhance the brow and, and just show off what you have rather than make them look like they're drawn on. I love using Kelly Baker's brown powder at home. I don't use a pencil or a pomade and it gives me the most natural looking brows. As you can see, Kelly did these, but I can achieve the same thing at home if I follow her steps. So thank you, Kelly. I love my brows.